here we are uh, I'm just going to do a short video and show you how to wire in the sewn off device and, and connect it to your cell phone or your home automation the, this particular one I've uh, connected it here to uh, a socket uh, these just remember these are only rated 10 amps and uh, so you know we're going to keep it light you know maybe some lights side lamp uh, small amplifier small home appliances nothing too heavy you know we don't want to be connecting heaters you know and uh, high powered lamps on these it's just something light you know up to about 10 amps we've got to remember that there's no earth on these uh, so I'm going to show you how to wire this baby up uh, incorporating the, the earth I'll, I'll show you how to do it safely so uh, it's, it's an easy job just just nice and steady and we can wire it up safely and then we'll connect it up to the cell phone and the uh, home automation uh, this can be controlled via uh, Google it can be controlled by IFTTT or even Alexa and then we can uh, control things like lamps or Alexa turn on the lamp There you go. Uh, this particular project, I'm, I'm controlling uh, a Bluetooth amplifier and a Bluetooth speaker, so uh, uh, just just easy to control that way. So here we go. I'll show you how to do it. First, what we're going to do is uh, take off these screws. There's one, two, three, four screws. Then we'll take off the covers. I'll just put the phone down and I'll take these babies apart and show you what it's like inside. So that's with the covers off and basically what we've got here is uh, you've got your live and neutral in and then relay and your live and neutral out. Just be careful, you've got it, I know some some places and uh, they don't really care which is live and neutral and you need to be careful because the neutral bar is this top one here and that's always going to be on so you've got neutral in and you see on the other side you've got your neutral out so get a multimeter and just double check if you're not sure which is live and neutral just make sure that's your zero potential that's your neutral on the top there that's that one there uh, AC doesn't really care a lot of devices don't really care with AC but uh, it's purely safety so there you got it got them apart there's the lid we're going to uh, strip the cable and then we're going to lay the cable in it and I'll show you how to wire up and just uh, so we keep the uh, the earth in place. Right, so what we've done now, we've got our cable and we we scored it, very, very carefully scored it with, with a very sharp knife. Uh, really carefully scored it here and scored it here. And then just carefully, very carefully, after scoring it, then we scored it right along the length. Then carefully, just peel back the outer, the white sheath. So you're left with, you're left with three cables. You've got your live, neutral, zero potential, and you've got your earth cable here. So once you're left with them three carefully, you've carefully scored it out. You've marked it out, what you've done. You've marked it out the length of of that just a little bit more to allow for the the uh, the earth to go round, and then you're going to carefully snip back your live and neutral. Snip back your live and neutral here again. Remember the neutrals on that that bar there, that top bar. And uh, once you've taken it apart, you see. I mean, you see, just just comes out the the case here. Once you've taken it apart, you think, oh shit, which is which? Because it's not particularly marked up. You'll notice there the programming button has to go through that little hole there and there you go it tells you that's your input and that's your output so you know which way you're gonna go so but what I recommend before we wire this up so basically you've got the three cables there you've not put this in place yet get your case get this case and then feed it through the cable so you're gonna feed it this way through the cable and then what it is then you've got it here ready like this so you've got it there okay so then you're going to snip your cables back and carefully locate them so there's no strand you don't have any strands hanging around here this is 240 volts remember uh, if you're not confident at all with 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 high voltage don't do this this is it's not uh, 
you, you, you must respect electricity. This will kill you, if it, you know. So just be careful and fully respect electricity. So uh, that's me being a bit boring. Uh, so you've got them all in, and then you've carefully put these cables back in. Then what you're going to do, you're going to get your, your lid, you're going to pop him on, and then this one, in fact you can do this before, what you'll do then, you'll feed this cable back round into that hole there. So I'll just put the phone down, I'll just connect him back up and I'll show you there. Got the cover back on now, a bit of a dance. And then you're going to put these... Uh, you're going to put these tabs back on these uh, these end covers. Now, make sure you get the your extension cable. These extension cables are a, a couple of euros, a couple of pounds maximum, maybe two ninety nine. Uh, but you're going to find the cables a little bit tight. So what I recommend, just snip away a little bit of that underside, only a little bit, because you still want it to grab. It's got to grab this cord, this outer this outer sheath here, you have to grip that cord and the same with the other side there, just snip it and and get him fastened back down that'll just, all just pushes back down, locates back on two minute job and you connect so, it. got the covers back on this unit uh, and uh, plugged it back in, put a 13 amp UK plug on this one just, just for demonstration here so this one's all back together again now and uh, on this particular unit, I've called it speaker because this is going to control a, a Bluetooth amplifier and, and uh, bass speaker. So uh, uh, that's I've already pre-named this, but I'm just going to show you. I've connected it to a lamp, a child's lamp, just to show you its operation. Uh, yeah, there we go. So when it's all connected up, what you would then do is uh, open your EWE Link account which you'll get from uh, off Play Store and then what you do is add a device simple as this click add a device oh, I'll show you some some of my other videos so and then you'll go first then you'll come over here and you'll press this button for about five seconds until the, the LED starts flashing rapid come here next and wait and it'll see the device the new device it'll come up with the new device and then give it a name and for this example I've called it uh, speaker this one and then next 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 and you're all done and it's signed up and then it's uh, and then it'll come on the list of devices these are some of the devices I've got uh, on uh, in the house so uh, and then it's as when it's all connected up it's as simple as Alexa turn on the speaker okay. there, there you go and this works with uh, Alexa works with uh, Google Home. She does like to butt in. Uh, so yeah, works with Google Home. Uh, works with her over there, and uh, works with IFTTT. Uh, so that's uh, so that incorporates geofencing, etc. And uh, there you go. Just a simple simple 20 minute job 25 minute job and you're up and running you can you and you can use a multiple socket to run a couple of devices via your wi-fi switch thank you very much